one shall rise and one shall fall. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the origin of Optimus Prime, the greatest leader of the Autobots. Well, it all began about nine million years ago. Oh, great. It's gonna be one of those long stories. Arguably the most popular and recognizable character in the franchise, he has gone on to star in several television, comic book, and film iterations, and has been made into countless action figures. Initially, the show's creators and Hasbro didn't recognize just how beloved the character had become to the show's audience. However, Optimus' popularity finally became recognized in a big way when he was killed off in the 1986 animated feature. One day, an Autobot shall rise from our ranks and use the power of the Matrix to light our darkest hour. As the result of this unexpected and emotional fan uproar, the character soon returned and has since remained a mainstay of the franchise. Throughout the years, he has undergone several changes. These included receiving a descendant named Optimus Primal in the Beast Wars sequel series. Optimus Primal! Maximize! <laughs> However, in recent years, the character has returned to his roots and has once again been brought to life by the iconic voice talent of Peter Cullen. Let's roll. Despite Optimus' incredible popularity and prominence in popular culture, many fans still don't know his origins. Incidentally, these were shown in the episode War Dawn, which debuted in the second season of 1984's Generation 1 cartoon series. Within the original continuity, Optimus Prime was once a robot named Orion Pax, a worker robot created by an alien race called the Quintessons. Taking place 9 million years prior to the events of the 1980s cartoon series, he was a naive and defenseless dock warrior that was amazed at the arrival of a new group of military robots that could fly. However, these robots, led by Megatron, rebelled against their creators and declared war on the aliens and the Autobots alike. You, you can't do this! Out of my way, fool! Severely damaged upon his first encounter with Megatron, Orion Pax was rebuilt. This occurred through becoming the first test subject of a reconstruction process crafted by the Autobot Elder, Alpha Trion. Re-emerging as Optimus, he discovered that he had been given a battle-hardened reconfiguration and a new sense of courage. You! Who are you? Your worst nightmare! He was similarly recognized as the strongest Autobot. As such, he took the mantle as their leader in a civil war against the Decepticons, and was given possession of the Autobot Matrix of Leadership, a sacred artifact and power source that endowed him with the title of Prime. With this battle raging on for millennia, Optimus Prime eventually headed up missions to search out new worlds and energy sources. This was necessary to restore Cybertron, their mechanical homeworld, which had gone dark during the never-ending conflict. The north side of Cybertron's blacker than the inside of a drive shaft. Unless a new supply of energy is found, nobody is going to win this war. Taking off with his forces in a spaceship called the Ark, Megatron and his Decepticons soon gave chase in their own battleship called the Nemesis. Engaging and raiding the Ark, both ships were sent crashing into the planet Earth. As a result, the two warring factions were locked in stasis for several millennia, and would only awake to begin the Great War in 1984. This resulted from the volcano quaking, activating the ship's systems. Soon after, Optimus Prime and his Autobots took on Earth vehicle forms so that they could hide among the humans and battle the evil forces of the Decepticons. Optimus Prime himself adapted a red cab truck form, though this would change throughout the many reboots of the franchise. He eventually became redefined in Michael Bay's films as a red-flamed, Peterbilt truck, and went on to retain that form in 2010's computer-animated series, Transformers Prime. Ooh. 